Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Y'all, I know, I said I was gonna show, be in the guest room today. From If you saw yesterday's video, I put up a Timu haul and I said I was gonna be in the uh, guest bedroom. Y'all, my body said, absolutely not. Let me tell you why. Because to put down the new mattress, I needed to lift the old one and drag it to the dumpster. Yeah, and uh, your girl, this whole thing here said, mm -mm, we ain't doing that today. Y'all, it's it's um it's warmed up a lot here in Texas, but it's like a damp chill out there. You know, it's damp because we had so many days of rain and it's cloudy. And my body was like, girl, you know, these kind of days we'd be in the bed. No, we ain't going out there. So I got to wait another day or two before I do that. But I got a little run my mouth for you. And I got some ideas and things that I'm working on I want to share with you. And I got these pots and pans. Y'all know I got to do me a good pot and pan. Well, I got these from Walmart. I actually own these. And I have showed y'all these before. So I'm going to come back with what I like. But I also bought a new set. And you'll see why. Then, I, if y'all, if you guys have um, seen, I don't know if you've been around. If you're new, I can just go back and check. I got a whole lot of videos. Caroline had gave me two of these Le Creuset um, personal um, bake dishes, right? And they're oval. I forget what the croquettes, croquettes, y'all. I don't know. One of them words. Okay. Le Creuset. She had uh, gave me two of these, right? Are they gorgeous or what? And so I've had them. I actually made macaroni and cheese in one a little bit. I made a little bit of macaroni and cheese and put it in there a while ago. But I was at Ross last week before last, before it got cold here. And um, I didn't even open these up yet. But I found some similar to the Le Creuset. Um, and they were only $3.99. Now, they're a little smaller. But if you're looking for something... That's similar to this. Come to your Ross. These are by Crock-Pot. Right? The Crock-Pot brand. And look. Cute. They're a little smaller. But this would make a single serving of like a little pie. Or, uh, you know. I got one. Because I don't need them. I got them just to show y'all. I got this one just to show. You see the difference in size? But... For $3.99, I thought that wasn't bad. So, I only got one because I don't need it. I had the two of those. But I got it just to show y'all. That was it. Then, let me... I'm going to talk a little about the guest room and some things I'm doing. I have been um, trying to find myself some little accessories for the room. And I have a couple of, um, like, a, what are they? Galvanized trash cans. I'm going to show y'all that. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing, but, but I'm making something for that. I'm using the galvanized trash cans to make something. I also have this. And I had got this from Home Goods, I think, for $14.99. But it came with a tall glass dome. And the dome fell and cracked, okay, and all over the place. So I had this left over. And what I'm doing is some matte black um, accents just to pull in a little more black in the room. And so this is going to be painted out matte black. And I'm putting one of my succulent gardens in this. And it'll sit on one of the shelves in there. So I'm looking for, I don't want to spend a dollar in there. And I haven't spent a dollar in there. So, um, well, I did. I bought the shelving units. But I'll tell you how I did those. My good friend, um, Doc B, here locally, she actually came and purchased the dressers that I had for sale. So, exactly what I got from her was exactly what the shelf... Well, no. I had a little change left over, like $15 left over from the two shelves that I had got. I had got them from Amazon. So, um, I, it, they paid for themselves. So, I didn't buy anything, you know? So, um, and then I had everything else I had in there, and y'all will see, or I had in the house. And you'll see how I'm working it out in there. This is a no-spend um redo in the bedroom or well, actually redecorate because the only thing that's left that was there was the bed and that's getting a new mattress right and my uh desk and my computer was in there but yeah so this i'm going to be painting this out in a matte black paint and then i'm gonna do a uh succulent one of my succulent gardens that i do with the rocks and this faux faux 
because I ain't putting a real. I ain't, I can't be responsible for the life of a plant. No, I can't be doing it. I have all kind of guilt. But I will do a faux succulent garden in here, right? So that'll be a piece that I'm adding in. And a couple other things. Then I got um, some artwork that I'm going to be making in there. Um, just like from a couple, uh, what are those darn things? Pictures. Yeah, a big old picture. I'm going to be using that and changing it out. So I'll be doing those DIYs with y'all in the next couple days. Definitely in the next, because I'm going to start my DIYs probably tomorrow so they could be dry because I got a lot of painting and doing and get that done. But anyway, then let me start with the these. Let me not start, but open up these pots and pans. Oh, and while we're talking, if you didn't see that video yesterday that I was talking about the Timu hole, I wanted to talk about this. This is a face wash scrubber like type of thing. And you just put your soap on it. You see a silicone. It has the little um, little beads on there. Y'all, this thing is amazing. <laughs> I did my eyebrows because I got thick eyebrows. I did my eyebrows and scrubbed them. They felt so clean. I did my face with just my regular face wash. I came down and did my neck. Y'all, it was, and then I just had to take a face cloth and just wipe my face off, you know, because I had you would have the soap. You'll rinse it rather and then wipe your face off. I love this. This was only a dollar. I think it was on back on sale for 98 cents. I tagged the links in the description box of that uh, last video I did yesterday. So the link is there if y'all are interested. But this is a buy. And then I thought, if you're going to get it, because I'm going to actually go back in and add a couple more, I'm going to get a different color because I think they come in blue, pink. This part right here, blue, pink, and yellow, I think it was. Get one for your feet because... I said this texture is perfect for keeping your feet. You know, while you're in the tub and you want to do a scrub to make sure you get all the little dead skin off. Yeah, that. I'm going to get me a different color for my feet and keep it in the tub for my feet. And then this right here is a little flimsy. I didn't add soap to it. I didn't add like liquid soap in there. What I did was just used it by itself just to check it out and see. I do like the feel, but also what I did do before I got in, I did it on my dry skin first. And doing this on my dry skin, I felt like I moved a lot. I like I felt like a lighter color on me, right? With doing this on my skin, and I kind of went in, in uh, a circular motion, and I noticed when I got out the tub, because y'all, I'm old, okay? Don't be talking about me. Sometimes when I get off, out the tub and I'm drying, I use like a linen... Um, towels. I don't use regular terry cloth towels. I'll see my skin kind of coming off like a, like a something, right? So when I did that yesterday, I didn't see any, right? And I used my new gloves. Love them. Y'all love them gloves. I just, all you got to do is use them like you're doing everything. Scrub down with them gloves on. And, um, but first I normally get in, do a regular little wash with a washcloth. I don't think you have to. And then I put the gloves on and go and bananas. I love that feeling. So, check out that video from yesterday if you missed it. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to come back with these two products because these I used. And, y'all, like I said, I'm going to get me a couple more of these and use one um, for my feet and just have a couple on standby. I like that. All right, so what else did I want? I just said, let me come on and tell my people everything. You know, when I've been quiet for a while, I come back on here like, it got to come out. It got to come from somewhere. All right, so this brand right here, y'all, this is heavy. Ugh. This is at Walmart. These are on sale right now for $59.99 for this set. I did show y'all these before. Like I said, in white. They were supposed to be green, like a sage green, but they were not. Remember, y'all, if you've uh, been around for a while, y'all, these pots and pans are everything. You do not have to go out here. Now, you know I love that beautiful line, right, by Drew Barrymore. I'm not spending $129 for her pots when they have these available. Mm -mm. So, these, they had these in black. This brand. And, like I said, I got them in the creamy white. They're nice. Um, they're really nice, but I always said if I find them in black, so it's like a, you see that texture? They're ceramic. I meant granite. It's non-stick cookware. And uh, I think this comes with five pans and some lids. Here's the... 
label, right? These are granite. But when I tell you, don't nothing stick to these. And they, it washes off like it's magic, okay? Y'all, these are everything. So, these I think have the wood handles. I have plastic on the other ones. But these I think are the wood handles. Hold up. Where I just put the scissors at now? Oh, back over here. But, um... I love these pots and pans. And now that, see, because I'm doing a little bit of a change in the kitchen and taking and adding a little more um, of a, like a, you know, more neutral, like a black and cream, with still with a little bit of green. You see that wood that like handle? I thought these would be so nice for the aesthetic of, not that pots sit out, but you do use them. Now I'm not cooking today, so I'm not gonna cook with these, but the next time I actually cook a meal, I'm gonna do a video cook, uh, for cooking. So this one here, here's this, where's the lid for this one? So I just opened the box. I should have opened it earlier so I could show y'all better. Because I don't know where the lid for this one is. It should be this one. Yeah, this is it. And here is the, like I said, the wood. I just love this aesthetic. I just love that. Look at that. And the pants, when I tell you... So I got this one, and this is, I think, a two-quart. I think this is a two-quart. 1.7. I think. No, it ain't. Two-quart. It's a two-quart. Um, that one. And then here's the lids I get. Right? But my other favorite thing is the size of one of these here pots. Now, I have this size, too, in the other set that I have. This size, like a little Dutch oven -y type of size. And then you get... Let me throw this stuff over here. I'll get it up when I get done. And this, y'all, you can cook anything in this. Look at this, how big this is. That's where that big thing comes in. The big top, I love it. This is a big old, you could deep fry in this. You could do whatever. Uh, and then go ahead and put your, and steam all your vegetables. You can make greens in this. Look how tall that is. I love this. Now, I still love that beautiful hero pan. I will keep that along with this set. But for the most part, all the other pans are going to be donated. I can't, I don't need all that space, but I love these. And I wanted these in this color. So that's why I got them. And then I think you get one more pan, two more, two more fry pans with this, like saute pans. So, oh, this is a mess. <laughs> why am I sitting here like this? You get this size, so a smaller size. And I, these don't have lids, but I think you can kind of work it out so it works. And then look at this big one, big saute pan. This is all $59. All right, let me move this box and not knock nothing down while I'm doing it. Look at this. Look at that big one too. So I'm wondering if this top fits this. Oh yeah, it fits. So you can use that top, the large thing for this or for the one that's taller. So that's not bad. I thought for $59, I had to share that with y'all. I'm gonna put a link to these in the description box. They come in brown, they come in like an off-white, and they come in this color that I've seen that was on sale. And um, the brown is nice too. I would have gotten the brown if I had to, if they didn't have that. And the black is, uh, the way the um, material is, it makes it look gray. So that's not bad. I'm wondering if this one that fits on that Dutch oven -y thing will work on this pan. Oh yeah, so all the lids are, you can use them on any pan. All of them have lids, okay? Maybe not at the same time, but they all have lids. That's not bad for $59.99. And with, in Texas here, they tax you on everything. It came to $64 and something cent, I think. So that wasn't bad. But anyway, so then, not keeping y'all for too much longer, I am now working on my bedroom. The winter, y'all, I told you, I didn't do much this winter. I do have my stuff for my for winter. I had brought the curtains. I love it. Kind of half put the room together and didn't do the rest. Um, haven't been living my life. You know, like I love my bedroom to be pulled together. Okay. And it ain't been pulled together. 
So I said for spring, I'm going to start probably late February, early March in doing my bedroom for spring because that's how the season works here in Texas. And I understand why people wait till late April, early May, because you still want that cozy cocoon feeling of your winter stuff, right? But I'm going to start late February, early, early um, March. Now, y'all, look at this. Oh, can I get y'all to see it? Yep. I'm not going to take it out the plastic because it's like shrink wrapped. And until I'm ready to um, use it, I don't want to take it out of the plastic. But I'm going to pull it out of this box. But look, y'all, wait. Is it a better picture here? Okay, here you go. Can y'all see that? Now, you know I had something similar to this last year. I'm going to show y'all the pattern in a minute. I had, but I had yellow mixed in, right? Because I used the one that I, because I actually used that for two uh, spring summers. That yellow and white and gray. Well, I found something very similar in just white and gray. You see that? And y'all, my accent color is going to be sage green with this white and gray. I already have the curtains, right? Because I brought them for winter in this same exact color. I actually painted out my lamps for my nightstands in that sage green. This is the same color as this, and I have a throw. I really don't have to do anything else or spend any money. This was at Bed Bath & Beyond for $39.99. I actually bought this, and um, I had a $20 um, credit from when Bed Bath & Beyond went out of business, and they switched over to uh, Overstock, well, they started their um, program again, their uh, courtesy program or whatever it is, you know, like the courtesy cards or whatever. And they put a $20 credit back in July on my account and emailed me and said, you have this, you have a year to spend it. Well, I never found anything I wanted to buy. I just wasn't buying anything, right? So I was like, you know what? Summer quilt time, my favorite place. Y'all know I love Bed Bath & Beyond for my bedding. So I went looking and I wound up after they had, they gave me 20%, I had a 20% off coupon plus the $20. After tax, I got, and I had free shipping because of the uh, program. So after tax, this was $18.48 for the quilt. It's just a lightweight quilt. Again, Texas, you don't need no heaviness in the spring and summer. A lightweight quilt and the two shams. So for my bedroom this year, I will only be spending... The $18.48. And that's why I say, y'all, look in your closets. Look in your stash. Don't allow YouTube to make you do it, okay? YouTube will make you do it. TikTok will make you do it. Uh, Instagram, looking at people's stuff. Go look with, and see what you have and what you can work from. And like I said, because I love the sage green and that's what I'm really loving right now, I was like, I don't bought all them curtains. I had bought eight panels right? To have a really full winter look. I'll probably take two panels off for the summer on each side and just have six up because I had it really full for the winter. And um, I'll show y'all the winter before I take it down because I'm not putting up the, the winter yet. Um, I meant the spring. I'm not taking away the winter yet. I'm going to show y'all that. You know, I'll finish putting it together and like finish hanging the pictures or whatever and show y'all that in the next week or so. But I already had this, right? The, this sage green, All right, and I always use a throw. And um, so I'm going to go with the sage green as my accent color. And I only had to buy a quilt because I have an extra white quilt and I have an extra gray quilt if I want to use it, if I need to. But I don't think I'm going to go with an extra quilt for the summer. I think what I'm going to do is just use a throw across the bottom. And that's it. And then I'll put my white bed tray out. And um, everything is in, in there is white and silver, right? So it's going to work. This is the perfect color to match with it. And the only thing I might do is buy some um, lampshades for my lamps. I might. But we'll see what the prices are looking like and um, if I can catch a deal. But for the most part, I'm not spending any money. Like I said, in the guest room, ain't spend nothing. I'm using what I had. The bedding that I bought last year for... Um, Late summer going into fall, that uh, mustardy color, that's still going to be in that with the same pillows. It's going to be in the guest room. Not ain't, ain't had not near guests. You think I'm going to go out here and buy something fabulous? That worked out to me. I love that that look. And I, you know, you guys noticed I had to. I mean, no, that mm, 
can talk. You guys know that I had got the nightstand from that company. And um, so I had them. And so I'm going very mid-century mod, very light, um, not a lot of heaviness in that room. And it also doubles as my little office workspace. So it's going to be very light, and but it will easily accept a um um not accept accept a guest and a guest can come in and it's going to be a little more guest friendly and not so much storage like I had the dressers in there for storage not so much storage anymore but just when I want to go in and do some work on my computer or if I did have a guest Zaya told me she's coming her and the baby's coming for fourth of July week you know that week so we'll see we will see. Hopefully, could y'all get a chance? Y'all, my little baby's sitting up. She's sitting up. If you follow me on Facebook, if you follow me on Instagram, go check it out. And I think, yeah, Instagram and Facebook, I put it. She, I put pictures up of her sitting. She's She'll be on the 28th, which is three days from now. She will be um, five months. She's been sitting up for about a week now. When did they start doing that? Four months old, sitting up, just sitting there. Like playing, laughing and everything. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on with this world? But yes, my little grand, great grandbaby is sitting up. So I need to see her soon. I might be making a trip up there soon. Or um, like I said, Zaya's coming in July. I don't know if I can wait that long. We'll see. But I just wanted to share these couple things with y'all. And like I said, this is my accent color for the bedroom this year. I already got the curtains up. I ain't got to take them down. I'll just go in there and dust and uh, clean up the windows and everything and throw up the rest and you know change the bedding out i do have some pillow uh accent pillows that i'm gonna use i don't think i'm gonna use as much as i normally do this year because i overdid it for winter and i just it's just too much so um i'm gonna use some that i have there and um i do have some artwork and but i think i'm looking for some sketches like just black and white, I mean, on white paper, some black or even like a dark gray sketch of something in the florals. You see these florals? Something like that. If I could find something like that, then I might change out to that for artwork. But anyway, like I said, this is just, y'all, to tell you, you could find this stuff so much cheaper. I just want to share this with y'all. And when you think about your spring summer decorating don't go overboard and run out and buy everything in the store all new this all new that look at what you have you probably got 10 12 quilts or comforters somewhere sitting somewhere in storage that you can go in and sit and revamp what you used four years ago i promise you do that first and then go buy a little accessory here or accessory there i got enough stuff around here that i could paint like i said with this uh with that thing that I got down there i got these pots on it but with this um, thing right here, you will never know that this was galvanized with a little copper around it. By the time I finish painting this black and making myself a little succulent garden in here, it's going to go on one of the shelves and it will be an accent piece. And it'll still run my theme through the house. That's one of the themes I have running through every room is every room has a little succulent garden or four. <laughs> I love them, y'all. I love them. But, um... Yeah, and they're very inexpensive to make. I already have a bunch of stuff, so I don't have to spend anything. And I already have black paint. So that's a free DIY. The, all the DIYs in there are free that I'm doing. I ain't had to buy nothing. Everything I'm reusing. So anyway, I'm going to stop running my mouth. I'm going to put this up. I told y'all I was bad. I ain't playing with y'all. I'm coming back like the old throwback. Joan, not even Thrift Queen, before Thrift Queen. When I was just Joan on YouTube, I'm coming back. Anyway, like I said... We will be doing that. I think the live is going to be Saturday. I'm going to put the link up for it. The live will be Saturday at um, 7.30 like we always have done, y'all. That way I know I'll get more of my people if we do that. So spread the word. And like if you are a small YouTube channel, if you're a large YouTube channel, if you are coming back like I am, trying to re-stir up your people, come on Saturday night, 7.30. If you know somebody, invite them. I will have the link up by later on tonight. Invite them to the live because we are going to talk about our channels. We're going to talk about different things we're going to do for 2024. Um, collaborations. 
if you know you can meet somebody on there and do a collaboration with them if you have a channel that you're trying to promote but more than that we will you'll be getting subscribers from the live we will open up and we will be and i'm gonna need some of my um and i'll probably maybe i don't know if we're gonna get all of the um moderators but i'm gonna need me a couple or two to come on and um put links in the chat for people to go to these different channels that we're talking about at, at that time but yeah invite people and um let's talk about what we do because we i found on whose channel was i on um stephanie's i was on stephanie's and i found a lady who's who does a little decorating and cleaning videos and stuff and i like her channel and I thought, oh, I remember when I used to do this all the time and we really were sharing channels and doing really good with that. It's time to bring it back. So that's going to be the basis of the basis of the video. However, you know us, we're going to be talking about everything. A little bit of decorating. If you need a little help and you're stuck somewhere, come on and chit chat with us. I haven't been on here 26 minutes, over 26 minutes. I'm getting off. All right, y'all, leave me some comments. I miss y'all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Watch. Share. I need y'all. I need to bring her back. I need to come back. Every now and then you need a break. A mental health break. And you come back ripping and ready to go. And that's me. So, I will talk to y'all Saturday for sure. Possibly tomorrow. But Saturday for sure for a live. Alright y'all. I'm going to see y'all soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.